Y'all, the very thing we praying for, the very power that we want to see, we're scared of it because we lack understanding. The enemy will always make you a prey when you lack understanding. Understanding of who he is and understanding of who God is. Now, before we go and indict the disciples, how many times have we, for a lack of understanding, feared the supernatural when it was made manifest before us? Before we get on the disciples, have you ask yourself, on, on, on them places where you just, I don't know how, are you robbing God the opportunity to get the glory? That's how he wishes to manifest. See, if you figure it out and you do it, guess who don't get no glory? He don't. See, if you can calculate all the hours you need to get, to, to get what you need and, and pay all your money, guess who don't get the glory? God don't. You worked for it like everybody else. But when it don't make sense, when it don't add up, when the money ain't there, when you ain't got enough people and it still happens, that's how God gets the glory. And you all, that's the supernatural. And the enemy wants to rob us from that. He don't want us to understand that. He don't want us to comprehend that. So what is the supernatural? The word supernatural means of or relating to or being above or beyond what is natural. Unexplainable by natural law or phenomena. Abnormal. The enemy has conditioned us to fear what is abnormal. Fear what is beyond natural. And fear what is unexplainable. Thus robbing us of the supernatural. I'm going to say it again. The enemy has conditioned us to fear what is abnormal. Fear what is beyond natural, and fear what is unexplainable, thus robbing us of the supernatural. How can you accept something that you're afraid of? Mm -hmm. Jesus walking to them in supernatural power. How can they accept it if he's scared of it? Huh. I want to do a new thing in the ministry. I want to do a new thing in your worship. How can you accept it and embrace it if you're scared of it? Right? I, I look at my I look at my son sometimes. He you know he's scared of me. Because I come with the loud voice, I come with the growl. Look where my father's at. With, 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 okay, where my father's at. All right. Listen. Listen, I purposefully, when, when they acting up upstairs, I come, I start loud because I want them to know I'm coming. And the cry gets from level 10 to 6 to 4 to by the time I'm at the top of the stairs, it's this. <laughs> and I ain't got to do that much work. But watch this. It's hard for him to accept the discipline when he's fearful of me. Yo, I'm telling you all, that's the enemy's plan. Yeah. He want to get you so scared that you won't accept what God is trying to do. Allow God to be God. But the only way you can do that is you have to go deeper. How do you go deeper? You have to get in his word. You have to fast. You have to study. You have to pray. Yo, it's not enough. Sunday is not enough. Right. It's not Sunday is your recharging. Sunday is your refueling. You can keep fooling yourself all you want. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th six go always our way one, right? And, 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 we got, and we got a periscope, right? So five go our way two. So y'all see how we trying to get it back? Now we got uh, the anointed advantage on Monday. So now four, three can deal with four a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's, yo, that's, why, we trying to, that, yo, that's why we trying to feed you all to do what? To deepen your level of understanding. Amen? Amen? Look at verse 27. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. The first thing Jesus commands them to do is to eliminate fear. Why? Because the supernatural is about to happen. The first thing Jesus says to them when he's walking on the water and they're scared, he says, Be of good cheer. Don't be afraid. It is I. Right. And he does this to tell them to eliminate fear. Because the supernatural is about to happen. If you want God to move on your situation supernaturally, you have got to eliminate fear. Because wherever there is fear, there is doubt. I'm going to say it again. If you want God to move on your situation supernaturally, you have got to eliminate fear. Because wherever there is fear, there is doubt. If you're scared, you will always doubt your ability. If you're scared, you will always doubt your ability. So let me tell you about... This fight I had with this guy named Dwayne McNair. You, you, you know when you know a person first and last name? Because they whooped you. So let me just take a drink because I'm going to hurt myself right now. Just tell them myself. Amen. Somebody gave me some encouragement. The brother's name was Dwayne McNair. He was light skinned. <laughs> He's a light skinned brother. He's running wild. 
I was young, light skin was just wild, and Shamar Moore, it was all of them just running wild. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm at a new school, and this is literally my second day. And everybody's laughing in the lunchroom. I'm new, I'm just laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing with everybody else. <laughs> I don't know how he saw me out of a thousand people. He turned like, you. I'm like, who, me? He like, after school, I'm whooping you. All right, I'm, I'm new, all right. But now I'm beating all day. Because I'm like, first of all, he don't know me. So he don't know what I'm capable of.